I'm Jess and I create Notion templates for real estate agents. I got a question recently asking me how we can keep track of our commissions within our transaction manager in Notion. So I'm going to go right in and share my screen. All right, so here we are in the transaction manager of the Ultimate Agent Hub, a template that I created for real estate agents that encompasses everything that you would need as a real estate agent on Notion. You'll find the link down below if you're interested. So within my transaction manager here, so each transaction is associated to a property that has been purchased or sold by your clients. So let's take the example here of One Dance Road. So when you're creating a transaction within the transaction manager, you need to be inputting each of these variables to get a final calculation of how much your commission is going to be um, for each of those, for each property. So for this property, as an example, firm sale price of $1 million. Here you need to input the commission um, paid to your side of the transaction. So if you're on the buyer's side or on the seller's side, um, or if you're representing both sides, depending on where you are, right? Like it can, uh, it varies a lot from, from area to area and from property to property. So in this case, we're representing the seller, right? So the related seller is Alicia Keys in this example. Um, and so we have 2% going to the seller's side of the transaction. Now, typically when you're working for a brokerage, your brokerage or your team, regardless of, of what that is, will take a percentage of your commission. So let's say, you know, 2% of $1 million will be $20,000. But now if I if I reduce it by my split, so how much am I getting of that 2%? In this example, I would be getting 70% and my brokerage would be getting 30%. So 70% of that 2% um, ends up being the net commission here. And if I, um, if I wanna show you how I calculated that, um, I'm using a formula, which is something that you can do in Notion. And I used the property called commission percentage times the property called firm sale price times the property called my split percentage to arrive at the net commission um, for this property. If you wanted to create another section here, you can have, you could, you could also have the gross commission. If that's something that you want to keep track of, um, let's say you have GCI goals for your year, you can keep track of that gross commission as well. Gross GCI stands for gross commission income, right? So uh, depending on what number you want to track when tracking your goals for the year or for the month or for the quarter, um, you can use either of these formulas. In this case, in the case of the gross commission, I have just removed the split percentage, right? Because that doesn't apply when we're looking at the gross commission income. So in this case, the calculation would be property called commission percentage times property called firm sale price. And we're not taking into account that split percentage. So that's pretty much it. You would be able to also select down here the sum, right? So if you want to calculate the sum um, of all your property transactions that have closed, you can select sum here, right? So when I go into this property, if I want to calculate the sum of all of my net commissions, I would select sum. And that's how I arrive at that number at the bottom here. Um, and you can do the same thing with the gross commission, which doesn't appear right now. In order to have it appear on my database, you, you click on the three little dots in the corner of your database, select properties, and you want to show the property that's hidden currently, which is gross commission, gross commission. So now that will appear. And if we want to have the sum appear at the bottom, we would just do the same thing and select sum under the calculate uh, option here. There you go. Okay, one more thing. So normally what you'd want to do is create a filter that filters for only the properties closing in a particularly particular year because 
usually when you're tracking your income goals, your uh, commission go commission income goals, you're tracking those for a particular um, year, quarter, whatever it is. So let's say you're tracking for the year. Um, I'm going to go in here. I had already created one for 2022, but let's say um, I'm going to duplicate that and call it closing in 2023. Um, and we're going to filter for closing between January 2023. So January 1st, 2023 to December 1st, 2023 is the closing date. All right. So now only those transactions that are closing in 2023 are going to appear in this view. All right. I've also created a formula here so that you can track um, what portion you are attaining with this transaction of your GCI goal for the year. So I've created the formula here. However, you need to adjust this based on your own goal. So um, you would need to go into the formula. So just click on, click on the value here, which will bring you into the formula that I've created. So, so gross commission divided by whatever your goal is for the year. So in this case, I had I had put a gross commission income of two hundred thousand um, dollars. So we can change the way that that's written here. So twenty, you could change that to two hundred and fifty thousand, right? So two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and that's your formula. So I would cl just click done, and now you you see that the percentage has changed. So 4.8% is the percentage of your gross commission income goal for the year that you're reaching with this one transaction. And, and to keep track of where you are in the year, you would um, open the tab that you've filtered to show only your closings for 2023, for example. And then we're going to open those three dots again. And we want to we want that property to be showing. We want the uh, gross commission and portion of yearly GCI to appear so that now if I calculate the sum under that property I actually get the sum percentage so this this allows me to know that I am I am at 14.4 percent of my GCI for the year within 2023 and you can do that again you can you know create another tab if you just want to um, if you just want to track for the quarter or for the month or whatever it is you'd like to do, you can create additional views by duplicating and just modifying the filter um, that indicates when the closing is. So you would just indicate closing is between the dates that you want to be tracking for. All right, that covers tracking commissions in your transaction database in your Ultimate Agent Hub, which I have linked down below if you're interested in checking that out. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I love working with Notion and I love connecting with other real estate agents. So yeah, my name is Jess and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.